Congratulations, Matt. Oh, Bobby, it's <laughs> so great to see you. Oh, thank you. You all you know I wouldn't miss this for the world. I mean, just the idea of Robin getting married <laughs> and having a baby. This is a real miracle. I'm grateful every day. Barbara, Jean, Spencer, my goodness. You are looking hot. <laughs> Mr. Coleman. Coleman is uh, Patrick's best man. Go figure. Oh. Oh, Mac, I got a phone call from Lucky, and there's some issue with Laura at Shady Brook, so it wasn't exactly clear, but I don't think that Lucky or Nicholas are going to make it to the wedding. They will send them on. I'll let Robin know. Okay, I'll see you inside. Okay. okay. Psst, psst. Send me a dance at the reception, Bobby G. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. You can go inside, too. <clears throat> yeah, well, Patrick uh, said I should help you. Welcome to guests. You know, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can pretend like you haven't busted me a couple dozen times. I mean, this is God's house, and after all, it's, uh, it's all about forgiveness, brother. Hmm? For Robin's sake, I'll try. Very good. Where's the groom? Is he here? Hi, man. Hi, Monica. Edward, you look good. Thank you. I uh, talked to Father Coates and he gave me a, a, a dispensation. Any particular reason? The has. Doctor's orders, he has to keep his head covered at all times. So I want to apologize in advance for attending your niece's wedding looking like a street hooker. Oh, you look fine, oh. Edward. <laughs> Mm. That's a nice touch. Thank you, thank you. See? Looking smooth, Mr. Q. Oh. Looking smooth. Come on. Now. Find out. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Very see inside. You yeah. look like a player. You too, Monica. I mean, you look beautiful. You know what, Coleman? You, you don't seem to be up on the concept of best man. I mean, your job is to make sure the room gets here in a timely fashion. Look, Patrick said he'd meet me here. Now, if you're going to get your, you know, your panties in the dither about, I guess I could give him a call if you like. He's not. He's not answering his phone at home, and his cell goes right to voicemail. <laughs> you ain't gonna miss this, man. Just, just chill, brother. Just chill. I'm telling you, it's all good. Hello, Commissioner. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, how's my favorite country girl? Good. Yeah, you going to a party tonight? Uh, it's a wedding. Well, which leads to a party. So you better save me a dance, girl. Okay. <laughs> Glad you could make it, Nadine. Thank you. Hey, we'll do a little two-step, Billy, man. Okay. <laughs> Mike, glad you could make it. Congrats, Mac. Just hope this wedding goes a little better than the last one I went to. Uh, but of course it will. Uh, maybe I'll just go inside. You do that. Go on. Like those boots, Mike. Oh, it is the Charlie's hi. Angels of Fort Charles. Hey, get in. Let me get a picture of yours. Oh, Come on. Hi, get tight. Not too tight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> How's it look? Oh, 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 oh my! Girl. Oh. Okay, so where's uh, where's the groom? He was supposed to have left the hospital before I had. I've already been home and changed my clothes. He, he was supposed to be here. Oh, he's gonna be here, guaranteed. Okay. Uh, How's Robin? You're really calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's uh, go inside. Inside. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. Jackson, you're not the one who's late. Thanks for coming. Excuse me. Come on, Coleman, step up, will you? Call Patrick. Find out if he's on his way or not. Alrighty. Okay, everyone, I've got my wedding to make it to, so let's make this short and sweet. Yes, Doctor. Mr. Corinto. Uh, hey. I didn't realize you were, uh, you were on the guest list, man. Yeah? I didn't realize you were the work on the committee. Well, I'm, uh, I'm Patrick's best man. Yeah. Well, times yeah. must be lean. Um, hey, you know what? As long as Robin's happy, that's all that matters. Guess so. All right, nice to see you. You take it easy, man.
Mr. Robin asked me to, you know, to come. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I probably would have come in if she didn't ask for Stone. I understand you're thinking about the day he died, you know, she, Robin was so calm. She had an amazing dignity. The only kind that comes from, you know, grief. I remember thinking, nobody that young should have to lose someone. You know, I did everything I could to try to help her out, but I don't think I did that well, you know. But you did. You were different then. You were young, you know, even younger than Robin because of the accident. You didn't know anything. That was the beauty of it. You, you just gave her what she needed. You didn't judge her. You loved her. And you were a good friend to me. I just want to say, well, no matter what, what's gone down between us, I'm just glad that we're here to see Robin on her wedding day. There's no sign of the groom. Those bachelor jeans are hardwired. If they kicked in, there's no telling how far Patrick's made it into Canada by now. <sighs> I should have waited for Drake Jr. to leave the hospital. If Robin's not worried, then neither am I. Oh, please. That girl doesn't have a sensible bone in her body. Look how long it took her to say yes to me. What if you got pulled into a procedure? Then I guess we're going to find out if Drake Jr. is a good doctor or a lousy husband. Okay. Is it too much? No, 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 no. No, it's perfect. Your mom's right. You look so beautiful. Uh, yeah, you do. How's his pressure? Holding steady. Is there a reason why you're watching the clock, Dr. Hunter? Uh, yeah, there's a ball game on tonight. I hate to miss it. Keep your eye on the patient. Okay, well, I timed it out to the exact minute, so you're safe to put your dress on and not risk any major wrinkling. She is so serious. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's why she's in charge. She is organized. Uh, uh, are you ready yet, sweetheart? Um, uh, no, Max, she doesn't need any extra pressure. I just have to put my dress on and then I'm ready. We almost set out there? Not quite. Dr. Hunter, you might want to pay attention. There's plenty for you to learn here. You know, I can keep him stable if, you know, say you don't get a phone call or something. I'll be where I need to be when I need to be there. It's absolutely fascinating how you're all obsessed with my personal life, though. Well, it's just that you and Robin took so long to actually agree to marry each other. Right, well, we? let's just all agree to focus on the patient for now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation, or at least there's a uh, Ivan Jekyll have the most ominous of reports for the bridal one. Des despite a thorough search for the gallant groom, he is currently unaccounted for. I kept watch on all sensitive areas, but with no other recourse, have to admit that I have failed in my appointed task. What the hell is okay. he saying? No, Spinelli, just tell us what happened. Dr. Drake is missing. You're just not looking hard enough. No, I, I, the jackal made a thorough search. He's not answering his cell phone. He's not at home. He's not in the church. As I previously explained, he is most definitely... Missing. Okay, there it is. Looks like it could have burst any second. Give me some suction so I can see where to place the clip. Why don't you let me take it from him? I haven't even got to the hard part. You're not gonna make it to the church. You know, you've got a bleeder. His pressure's dropping. He's going to SCT. We need to clamp this versus history. 